this is a second video in the sequence topic and in this video and the videos to follow we will go through different examples of different types of sequences um, just a quick recap in the previous video we went through the basics of sequences we studied how and why do we need how do we what are sequences and why do we need sequences we went through the basics some of the basics um, of the questions you would expect in your examination and we went through the importance of finding the nth term formula just a quick recap finding the why is finding the nth term formula important regardless or not whether it is asked in your question specifically the nth term formula helps you find all the answers related to that sequence whatever the sequence we are talking about and therefore finding the nth term formula is extremely important guys if you can just find the nth term formula of any sequence regardless in IGCSE or a levels you can literally answer all the other questions about sequences because almost all questions regarding sequences revolve around the nth term formula so in this video and the videos to follow we will go through um, different examples of finding the nth term formula of a sequence right starting with our linear sequence just a quick recap again the different type of sequences you have linear sequence you have quadratic sequence and these are the most common ones you are asking the exam you have cubic sequence now cubic sequences are extremely rare in examination very rarely you will get them but nonetheless you do have to practice for them and you have quadratic sequence and, and so on and so forth which you don't really need to know in your IGCSE mathematics so let's start with the linear sequence let's get some basics correct linear sequences are always in the form d n plus c where d is your difference c is your constant constant you have to figure out and and your n is your nth term whichever term you're talking about the first term the second term third term so on and so forth just a quick just a quick quick disclaimer the method which i use to find the linear c the the the, the nth term formula for all the sequences is slightly different from what you're usually taught in your school not because the method you use in your school is wrong per se but just that this method which is less common is much more easier is much more easier in the sense that you need to keep less things in mind it's the process is very straightforward and therefore it is easier to solve the drawback however for this method is that it's slightly lengthier and you do need you do need to be slightly good at algebra which hopefully you should be in mathematics in, in mathematics especially in IGCSE and A levels um, in IGCSE and A level um, so nonetheless this method is slightly lengthier but it is simpler so it is much much easier for you guys to keep in mind in your examination and therefore easier to apply so if you can just stick with it and try to understand and do a little bit of algebra this method is probably the easiest method you will get for so finding the nth term formula right so linear sequences are always in the form dn plus c that means that the first difference in linear sequence is always constant for quadratic sequence the second difference is constant for cubic sequence the third difference and so on and so forth for linear sequences when you, when you subtract the second term with the first one and third in the and with the second one basically each terms with each other consecutive terms with each other you get a constant number in this case if i subtract 42 with by 15 i should get 27 if I use my calculator again, I should get 27 and 27 again. In this scenario, the common difference is 27. So our expression would be 77 n plus c is equal to your nth term, whatever that nth term formula is. Now, from this point, we just need to use a little bit of algebra and a little bit of common sense. We know that the first term in the sequence is 15. Therefore, if I were to write an expression 27 fun where n will be 1. Why? Because we are finding the first term plus c is equal to 15. Why? Because the first term is 15. So if we can make us we can we can set up an equation for the first term, we have one variable and therefore we can solve for that c is equal to 15 minus 27 c is equal to 15 minus 27 if i use my calculator i should get the answer minus 12 so therefore the nth term formula would be 27 and minus 12. now just a quick 
disclaimer that you don't necessarily have to use the first term and make an equation for the first term no you can use any term you should get the exact same answer so let's use so let's use another uh, let's just let's try to repeat the exact same thing but with a different term let's try to use the fourth term so let's set up an equation for the fourth term plus um, the n will be 4 because we are, we are talking about the fourth term plus c is equal to 96 because the fourth term is 96 c is equal to 96 minus 27 into 4 27 into 4 27 multiplied by 4 is 108 if i shift 108 to the right hand side it should be negative 108 c is equal to 96 96 minus 108 which gives us minus 12 so therefore 27 and minus 12 again you can see the answer exactly the same what that means is you can use the first term second term third term to equate your to solve your equation you should get the exact same answer let's do a quick let's do, let's do another example um let's say we have an expression let's say we have an expression 3 15 let's 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 try to do a simpler one so that you guys get the get the get the process easily so let's say we have 1 6 11 16 21 so on and so forth again always in the form dn plus c in this case the common difference is 5 if my calculator is correct which I, it is um so the common difference is 5 in all four of the terms so our expression will be 5n plus c now again i have to make an equation for the for any term i want to find the value of c i'll do with the first term and the third term just to show you guys that you will get the exact same answer when the exam is in you just need to make an equation with just any any of the term that is available so for the first term we will have five instead of n you will have one because we're trying to find the value for the first term plus c is equal to 1 because the first term is 1 therefore c is equal to 1 minus 5 5 into 1 is positive 5 shift to the right hand side negative 5 so 1 minus 5 is minus 4 5n minus 4 is our nth term formula if i repeat the exact same thing with the third term 5 our n would be 3 because we're trying to find an expression uh, an equation for form an equation for the third term plus c is equal to 16 because the third term is 16 5 into 3 is 15 plus c is equal to 16 c is equal to therefore 16 minus 15 c is therefore equal to minus 4 C is equal to minus one. Hmm, something's not right. Wait a second. Wait a second. This should be okay. 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 Here's a mistake. Here's a mistake. Silly mistake. This should have been four because we're trying to find the fourth term: first, second, third, and fourth. My apologies. So this would be twenty-four instead of fifteen. So sixteen minus twenty-four. Uh, again same <laughs> what's going on 5 into 4 is 20 so this would be 20 over here so 16 minus 20 is minus 4 so therefore c is equal to minus 4 the n term would be 5 n minus 4 and that is the same answer we, as we got previously uh, my apologies i don't really use scripts to make these videos so uh, sometimes i do make silly mistakes so i'm sorry for that so this is a simple method simple straightforward method of finding linear sequence which i assume is not difficult for most of you guys because in linear sequence are very straightforward in the next video we'll try to solve a few examples of quadratic sequences